I have designed this cylinder. This is printed in PLA. I have a DIY homemade seal, a little bit silicon because uh, the air was escaping to the threads. It has a bicycle valve and I want to see if we can pressurize a 3D printed cylinder. Of course I ain't gonna try how much PSI this can hold because I don't want it to explode. But if we can hold like maybe 50 PSI, I will be fine with that. So basically you could even use this as a maybe catch can for a car or maybe like a air tube for something that you need and of course this is PLA so this is 2mm walls, 2mm top and bottom layers same for the cap and I did have a 3D printed uh, TPU seal but that did not work so I want to I want to pressurize this one and we're gonna see how much you know if it can even hold without esca air escaping or maybe there is some kind of hidden escape that the air will go like maybe here when I had a mistake that it almost separated but I think it will hold quite a quite amount of air. Again, you could use them as uh, air cylinders, and it's not necessary to you know to do one that screws on because it's a screw on cup. You can always do a cylinder that's all shut and just drill and tap holes. Again, PLA two millimeter wall, two millimeter tall wall, just a regular or cheap PLA. So let's see if we can pressurize this. So here I got my tube, and I got my compressor here so I'm gonna connect it and we see how much this already, already tested it it already has so I ain't gonna go crazy again I'm gonna go to maybe 50 piece I don't want it to explode in my hand right mm, easy for this mm, and we lost the seal it pop the seal So we lost the seal here. It blew the seal. So if we didn't have the problem with the seal, it would be good. But as I cannot find a seal like that, so I had to improvise. I had to improvise with this. It can hold easily 20 to 30 psi. After that, the seals, the seal goes bad. But for sure, you can 30 print and pressurize a cylinder like no doubt and again we are at 40 psi and the needle is dropping because for sure there is a leak 60 it just pops the seal out as you can see here so you can for sure pressurize a so the results are you can for sure 3D print and pressurize a box. I just don't know how many pieces are something like that can and I will not recommend because this is still plastic and this is printed layers going up. This isn't printed in this way. So the layers can may separate and it may blow. And again, this is just a simple again I put a lot of silicone to seal it, but this seal, the black one, does not work. It just pops from place, so we cannot do anything else. But yeah, you can for sure, for sure. 3D print and pressurize a uh, box. This is supposed to be a tennis ball holder to pressurize it at 26 psi. So the balls keep uh, same, uh, keep the, the the inside pressure. But uh, I think I have to redesign the cup here, and because I had the indentation where the seal supposed to sit, but I did a TPU seal, so it never worked as it's supposed to be. Maybe if I will make it flat and then seal it, maybe that will seal it better so that's what we're gonna do probably in the next next times just make this all flat and put the seal or the wrap or the TPU whatever we're gonna try again the TPU on the flat part not where the indentation is inside here so again thank you for watching subscribe again share and I hope I will see you in the next one